Underway in Division 1 of the Tadus of Ireland, four-year-old maiden and three runners looking to set the early pace. Tamgo Borgi, Misty Mountain Light, in company with the Bilboa River, are the first three to show as they approach fence number one of the 15 in total that they'll be jumping. And on touching down, Ingenious Stroke is the last of the nine to land, but they're safely out over number one. Now a good run on the level before they race downhill into the back straight and meet fence number two, just one fence in the back straight. And it's still the trio disputing the advantage, but Bilboa River now striding on as they meet the descent into the back. Change of colours for Jamie Codd's mount, orange jacket with white sleeves, and now has the advantage by two lengths over the sole grey in the lineup, Tamgo Bourget. Third position for Misty Mountain Light, second of three newcomers in this contest. Boston Joe sits behind the front trio, racing keenly as to his face, the beast, white sleeves and a black jacket. Ballon runs on the outside of this one. American Jerry and Unanswered Prayers, the two Dunica Doyle runners racing side by side. An ingenious stroke is the overall back marker. So closing in on fence number two, Bilboa River safely out over it. Slight mistake by Face the Beast in the mid division. Ingenious Strokes continues to be the back marker. But it is Bilboa River representing the late Pat Coffey leads the field out of the back straight, still by two lengths over Tamgo Bourget, the French bed son of Martelline, another of the newcomers. Races just behind Misty Mountain Light as they close in on fence number three. Ballon ran on the outside of Boston Joe and Face the Beast is next. American Jerry, one of two, carrying the Monbeg Syndicate colours. The green cap for American Jerry, unanswered prayers with the white cap racing alongside as Misty Mountain Light has gone wrong and has been pulled up coming into the home straight. So eight remain running as they go out over fence number four. And it is Bilboa River with the advantage to Misty Mountain Light face the beast. Tamgo Borgi in the second spot. Ballon Ran Boston Joe are next with unanswered prayers American Jerry backmarker and genius stroke. So a circuit under their belt. The advantage remains with Bilboa River over Tamgo Borgia face the beast. Boston Joe is next with Ballon Ran. Unanswered prayers American Jerry and Ingenious Stroke. So they go out over fence number six. It was the opening fence on the previous circuit. And it is Bilboa River who continues to lead the field. Face the beast has been quickly pulled up and is another one to have unfortunately gone wrong. So as they... Take the bend into the back straight, racing downhill all the while. It's Bilboa River for Jamie Codd, who will then head to Galway to ride in the concluding bumper. Second position for Tamgo Bourget. Ballon Ran races on the outside of Boston Joe. Unanswered Prayers, who has placed form to his name already this season, was second at Ballingarry on the opening day of the season. Races just in advance of his stable companion. That is American Jerry and Ingenious Stroke remains the overall back marker. So they head on their way towards the next fence. It's number seven and it brings them closer towards the halfway point in Division 1 of this Tattersalls Ireland sponsored four-year-old maiden. And Bilbo River is gone. The leader, Bilbo River, had just been joined by Tamgo Bourget when crashing out at fence number seven. So it leads Tamgo Bourget now with the advantage over Ballon Ran and Boston Joe two and three as they take the left-handed bend out of the back straight, climbing on their way towards fence number eight. Tamgo Go Bourget, the grey black jacket with a lime green cap, has the advantage now by two lengths over Ballon Ran, who races on the outside of Boston Joe. Wasn't as quick as Ballon Ran as they went out over it. American Jerry and Unanswered Prayers are next as they make their way into the home straight. Ingenious Stroke, the orange sleeves, green jacket for O'Brien, continues to bring up the tail of the field. So this is fence number nine for the remaining runners. Just seven still in Involved with just over a circuit of the course ahead of them as they head on their way towards the next, which is six from the finish. And out over it, Tamgo Bourget was left with the lead at fence number seven and is going to try and lead them home over the course of the final mile. Boston Joe races on the inside, the navy jacket with white sleeves, out wider to Ballon Ran, the orange jacket with a white cap as they go out over it again. Ballon Ran out jumping Boston Joe in second and third as they continue to track Tamgo Bourget. The green cap of American Jerry, Pierce Rogan, is just on the outside of unanswered prayers, Harley Dunn, and Ingenious Stroke continues to bring up the tail of the field. 
So less than six lengths would cover these seven as they make their way into the back straight. They've still got four fences left to jump and it's Tamgo Bourget to Boston Joe's. Racing keenly down the hill, Ballinran's on the outside of this one. American Jerry unanswered prayers, an ingenious stroke, although the back marker is very much involved because they've really bunched up now as they head inside the final half mile. Tamgo Bourget, Barry O'Neill dictating the tempo at the head of affairs to Boston Joe's. Ballon ran unanswered prayers now tries to inch closer for Harley Dunn moves into a share of that second spot slips up the inside of Boston Joe's they go out over the fourth last American Jerry and Ingenious Stroker five and six so they're about to leave the back straight behind them Tamgo Bourget still with the advantage unanswered prayers though make trying to make the move up the inside Ballon ran has now come on the outside of this one as unanswered prayers was just short of a bit of room they're being followed by American Jerry and Indigenous Strokes. They head out over the third last. Tamgo Borgia now being joined by Ballon Ran as they take the home bend. Boston Joe and Unanswered Prayers. American Jerry and Ingenious Strokes. So heading on towards the second last. Tamgo Borgia is going to have to work for this one because Ballon is about to join him but makes a mistake. Unanswered Prayers and Boston Joe as they make their way on towards the final fence. It is the French bred Tamgo Borgia being challenged by the Ballon and Gary runner-up in the second spot unanswered prayers Boston Joe the far side it is Tamgo Borgé to the line Tamgo Borgé continue Barry O'Neill's great start of the season another four-year-old for the Colin Bowyard second to unanswered prayers Boston Joe American Jerry clear over Ballon Ran and a genius stroke